Don't waste your energy on men. That's the dating advice Megan Fox dished out over the weekend, almost one month after confirming the end of her engagement to Machine Gun Kelly. Speaking to E! News at Revolve Festival on Sunday, the 37-year-old actor explained why she thinks going on dates this summer might be a waste of time. I don't know if I'm the best person to give advice because my advice is to just learn a skill or develop a hobby and do not waste your energy on boys, she said. Fox added, All they're going to do is drain you. Just move on. Invest in yourself. The Transformers star later shared a clip from the interview on her Instagram, writing life advice from a relationship expert in the caption. It seems like many women agreed with the sentiment, with Kim Kardashian commenting, not no, underneath. While Emily Ratajkowski liked the post along with nearly 250,000 others. It's not the first time a celebrity has advocated against dating. During an episode of Ratajkowski's podcast, High Low Last May, the model and writer revealed her approach to romantic love has changed since her divorce, explaining that she's currently co-parenting her son, Sly, with her best friend. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love it so much, she told her guest, Julia Fox. Spending time with another woman and just how much I don't have to ever tell her. Our instincts are so aligned, she added. When you're living with a man and you're taking care of a child, you have to tell them. It's so exhausting. Men are having such a hard time giving that to women. I can't really imagine wanting that with someone else and having this traditional family structure. What I want is an emotional partner who can help me feel good about myself day to day. Clearly, in a dating landscape plagued by miscommunication, commitment, phobia, ghosting, and catfishing, these are sentiments that resonate. They're also ones that have been echoed by many of my single friends in recent weeks. All of us are fed up with mediocre dates that cost time, energy, and money that, as Fox points out, we could be investing elsewhere. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing better than a great first date but those feel as if they are becoming increasingly rare among my cohort of single women, who are on the front lines of almost every dating app in existence. For more updates, subscribe our channel.